Okay, all the transmission lines and uh, water lines are unhooked and uh, the bolts are loosened, so I'm yanking the old radiator out. Old uh, copper and brass three row. It has been a pretty good radiator for a number of years, but And the little fan used to mount here. Did a pretty good job, but pretty good ain't cutting it. Now here's the new radiator. Uh, aluminum two row um, with two rows of one inch tubes. Probably 30, 35% more cooling area. And very tightly packed uh, cooling fins. All TIG welded. And uh, got Brent, brand new uh, transmission cooler built in a plate style heavy duty transmission cooler and this fan here actually the core dimensions on this radiator 17 inches uh, tall by 22 wide and this uh, Flexolite black magic extreme fan is fully shrouded and the shroud is guess what exactly 17 by 22 so every molecule of air that comes through this radiator uh, will be pulled through by the fan and really really suck a lot of heat away so it should be a, a big difference in the way this truck cools now uh, perfect fit i mean uh couldn't have asked for a better fit and it'll it'll pull uh, of course it'll tie right into the flexolite thermostatic control unit i'm already running and uh, it'll pull 18 amps at max rpm and it'll pull 3300 cfm of air so it should do a really good job Looking forward to it. Okay, down here you can see the original saddle style mounts uh, that the uh, old original radiator sat in. They're a little bit too narrow as far as um, from the center line, they're a little too narrow. So I'm going to move them out and relocate them approximately three and three eighth inches to each side, which will allow me to um, basically drop that new radiator right in place. So now they're located way out here to the side, which will um, not cause a fitment issue with the transmission cooler inlet uh, nipples. And um, that was kind of the big, big deal. So I had to cut the rivets out. I used a die grinder to do that. Here's the original holes that they came out of, and you can see they're located another three and three eighth inches out to the side now. So I've already pre-bent them, so they're wide enough to accept the new radiator. And at this point, I'm gonna bolt them down before I uh, MIG weld them in. I've got a wire feed welder here. Uh, I'll, use, I'll use that to tack them in once I locate them and, and do a pre-fit. And once the pre-fit's done, that thing should drop right in. And everything will bolt right back up. Tranny cooler lines will come right back in. Uh, hook up the water. Fill it and fire this mother up. See what happens. More later. Okay, there's the... Uh, Black Magic Extreme fan mounted to the radiator. I mean, it, it's like a glove. Every, like I said before, every molecule of air has got to come through that radiator core. So that's how nice the, fan, the shroud fits. I mean, it's perfect. And I'll put a couple of spade connectors on the end of these uh, wires and it'll plug right into the Flexolite thermostatic control unit I'm already running on the truck. So it ought to be nice. More to come. Okay, here's the first test fit. Actually, it might be the final test fit. I've uh, adjusted all the uh, brackets sufficient. Looks great, still fits. Even though it's a fatter radiator, I removed one layer of rubber uh, padding from inside and it fit like a glove. So, all right, we're getting there. Okay, she's all back together. New radiator. Uh, you can barely see the fan in there, but anyway, a little bit of modification on the uh, mounting assembly, a little bit of MIG welding. It is good to go. 
Everything bolted right back up like it was supposed to. All the wiring is done. Control unit should be dialed in already. Now the acid test. Okay, project's done. Truck's running, warmed up, and really nice, quiet fan, but it's pulled some serious CFM. Really happy with this. And it's cycling on and off uh, in about three or four minute increments taking the temperature all the way down to about 160 before it shuts off so it's running really efficiently it just turned off ran for uh, right at one minute Woohoo! sweet making ice cubes the acid test for uh, a fan shroud to see if it's uh, pulling good air so take something like an owner's manual, stick it up against the fan, and it stays put. Good slide right off. Bingo! I think that's probably the best sound next to jet noise. Outstanding. Good project. Thanks for watching.